You want to make absolutely sure that these beads are clean. So I'm going to take this piece of paracord here and I'm just going to run the bead back and forth. I'm using three different colors here so you can see how this works. If I start to braid over here, I have my orange on the right, black on the left, orange goes in middle, then black goes in middle, and then I just alternate left, right, left, right as I go down, right? And as I braid, I start to get my braid up here, but I also get it down here, so I just want to keep on combing this out. So braid, 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 braid. Getting tangled down here, comb it out. Got it? Here's something else you should keep in mind. When paracord is braided at the factory, it's braided so that it sits in a certain manner, right? If I take this cord and I start to twist it up, it's going to want to unravel, right? Because it wants to go back to the shape it was braided. So what I want to do is move the cord around along with the way it was braided, right? I don't want to twist it as I move it back and forth. And then that way it sits flatter and it looks nicer. Okay, let's get started. Here's my cord. I'm going to leave a little extra on the left hand side and then make a loop. I just want to make sure that that loop is nice and flat and that there's no twist in the cord as I start to braid. That loop is going to go behind and then I want to make sure it's about the width of my palm. Okay, And so now I'm going to start braiding back and forth, paying attention not to add any extra twists into the cord. Back and forth, making it nice and tight. Okay, it's getting tangled down here. I'm just going to pull all that out. Again, starting to get tangled. I'm going to pull it out. And as you get towards the end, it gets a little more difficult to keep pulling it out. See here. Okay, so we're looking good towards the top. Towards the bottom, it starts to get all loose. So here's what we're going to do we're just going to take this loop here and we're going to pull the slack out of it. So I'm going to pull this down, tighten it up. There's my excess loop right there. I'm just going to start threading it through. We want to make sure that it all sits nice and it all looks pretty. See, it's starting to get there. Okay, so we have our basic shape. It's still not sitting flat. It's not 100% just yet, so I'm just going to start to wiggle the cord all the way through and just adjust it, pulling the braid here and there so that it looks nice and flat. There we go. Pull it. Okay, it looks pretty even now. Next thing we're going to do is keep this bracelet from pulling tight or unraveling. And I'm just going to put a dot of super glue at each end. Right? This is the liquid stuff, it's not the gel kind. You can see how it bounces back and forth in the bottle. I'm just going to put a little drop of glue right in there. That was a little much, but it's going to soak in. You'll see. If I just hold it here for a second, let's zoom in. You'll see that it starts to soak into the braid. All 
Alright, let's do the other side. Hopefully it doesn't come out as fast this time. You can see it soaking in. Okay, now it's time to put our beads on. I'm just going to even this bracelet out. Cut the ends off. This isn't the final length. From here I'm going to pull the inner strands out about an inch and I'm going to cut those off. Now when I pull the sheath back I can feel the inner strands up until right there. This section is completely hollow and that's going to help me slide it through the bead once I already have the other end through as well. So we're just going to keep going do the same thing to the other side. Give it a little haircut. Okay. Now you don't want to leave this in the flame too long because you want you don't want it getting so hot that it burns you. Okay, here are my two beads. I'm just gonna slide them on. And then I'm going to take my other piece of cord and I'm going to pinch down and push the beads on the other way. There we go, that's looking good. Okay, so that's about where I like it as far as tightness goes. So I'm just going to mark these ends and then I'm going to cut and melt them. All right, there it is. Now I don't want to put it on. Slip it over my wrist. I'll tighten one side. Slide the bead down. And then I'll just keep on adjusting it until I have it in place where I want it. There it goes.